Cornelius Smith, who is facing the death penalty, this guy right here, um, he gonna snitch. He gonna snitch fast. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing when you let your nuts hang. What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ, and today it is a wonderful Saturday afternoon about 70 degrees it was freezing earlier so man i don't know what's up with this oklahoma weather but it is not working well with this covid because man i'm sweating like a mug so anyway you know i'm just trying to uh show y'all a little bit of what i really be talking about when i talk about the good the good the bad the ugly of the hood and growing up and getting out the hood and always coming back knowing you from the hood and not giving a shit see i really grew up in the hood and matter of fact this is edwards park we on the east side right now this is edwards park edwards park is where all the sunday gatherings go so on sundays that motherfucker be jumping especially like you know when it get warmer or better outside that's where the strip be so the police always close it down but it's right in the middle of the hood. So you kind of got to be aware of, you know, where who 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 going to be there, you know what I'm saying? Anybody just can't be popping up on the east side. Anybody can, but not just anybody cuz you know, shit be going down and there there's the you know, the old heads always up there. Them is the old heads from shotgun, man, from the hood. But anyway, shout out to everybody over in the, uh in the oaks man this wonderful 2022 it's always looking good it's it's a very good neighborhood but it's hood you know what i'm saying and everybody knows everybody that's the thing about neighborhoods in oklahoma everybody goes to school together you everybody moves around and knows each other so oklahoma's a good chill place to live but it still has its ghettos I was watching a video yesterday that said Hoods of Oklahoma and it went right to the spot where we used to kick it. And I'm like, how the fuck they know this? Like, no one knows this outside of Oklahoma. So it's kind of crazy that they went to a monumental spot where a lot of shit goes down. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. They must have had some inside information on that one. But I'm going to run y'all by it and I'm going to tell you why. Look. So, yeah, shout out to the G Wagon. And he looks, uh, that's a woman. She looked pretty. All right, anyway. All right, so, like you see, man, this is 23rd. You know what I'm saying? These places have been raggedy forever. That's the set store, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to get caught slipping up there. That's an old skating ring back there, I guess. You know what I'm saying? They're going to bring it back. I don't know, but. Yeah, it used to, or a grocery store it used to be something. But anyway, let's go on. We are, we're gonna, we're gonna go on down 23rd. You see, everybody got the whips out except mine. I ain't even got my rims on. I was supposed to put my rims on for uh Martin Luther King. So we got dispensaries everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, it's it's a dispensary on every block now. But that's just you know and it's not just in the hoods remember it's liquor stores everywhere there ain't as many liquor stores on the east side as it used to be you know what i'm saying because of shit one because of covid you know that shut a lot of shit down but two everybody smoking weed now you know nobody drinking no more i quit drinking so i could smoke weed <laughs> and now i gotta quit smoking weed because i got some important information i ain't gonna show y'all but anyway so this Northeast 23rd Street, this is the hood right here. This is where the neighborhood, neighborhood nine O's, they all in this neighborhood. And then the enemy is, uh, this is Creston Hills, be Hillside, Hillside Hoover Crips over here, right? They on this side of 20, on this side of Martin Luther King, I mean 23rd, this is 23rd, straight up and down. You see the crackheads going live over there. They ain't gonna stop. But anyway, so this used to be a Krispy King, used to be a chicken place, and then they turned it to liquor kind of shit. But anyway, this used to be my first job, uh, my first actual job. I, it was a grocery store called Hometown Market. And yeah, it was pretty ghetto. So, you know what I'm saying? 
that's one of the spots then over here where the cvs is that's that neighborhood right over there they call it pitts park because inside of the neighborhood there is a oklahoma city park and recreation called pitts park and that is where all the hoover crips congregate i ain't going over there i ain't, I ain't got time for all that shit but i'm just saying where it is and i'm gonna show y'all where i live I'm gonna show you a little, show you a little shit about uh, the hood, and like, you know, if you, there's so many gangs over here. You know, you mess around, wear the wrong colors. One time I was wearing red, coming home from school, and I got chased from school, from the school bus, and it'd be like, you know, what I'm saying Prince Hall Village. That's a gang, but Prince, I'm gonna show y'all where Prince Hall is. But you know, they all in this area, all in this neighborhood. So. This is where you could go down this street. Oh, we ain't gonna go down this street. We're gonna go down 27th, because 27th is a monumental street because that's the name of the gang for the neighborhood Crips. If you like an OG in the hood, if you an OG, you from 27. Ain't no, ain't no young bucks from 27. You gotta really put in some work. And that used to be my dentist as a kid because I lived on this street. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show y'all where my house is. I used to know the people who used to live there. All right, so there's my old house. Look at that mug. That mug's so raggedy. Damn, that mug, that about to fall apart. The roof look bad, but yeah, that motherfucker just going bad. But I first seen my first murder right there on the second porch, but yeah. Got some family little and this place look totally different man I, I ain't been over here in a while but i just seen this video just i just seen this video of this house I mean, this is where we used to kick it at man in that top top left room or top right room top left room downstairs man we used to play ball all over this mug it's falling apart too. Look like somebody tried to paint it. I don't know what they tried to paint it for. They didn't do nothing else. But yeah, this the neighborhood, man. We used to sit out here, smoke, right? Play basketball. Then the people from Prospect Baptist Church used to come right over and pick us up and be like, hey, y'all, <laughs> y'all want to come? Come to church. I'm like, come to church? Man, we used to go in there lit. But then we stopped when we stopped going uh, to church lit because we knew they was coming to pick us up on Sunday mornings to get us to go in to church. Man, if you can see, I'm sweating like well. Anyway, yeah, that's uh, this is the this the hood, man. And uh, you just there's things you learn about the hood that you just you know it just is what it is. People say, oh man, it must have been tough growing up in the hood. You really don't know it's that tough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Unless you're coming from the outside, like if you grew up in a nice area and then you come live out here, and then you be like, fuck. But other than that, ain't no it it you can't tell people aren't that much richer than you or poorer than you. You just don't you never know who is who. So, I mean it is what it is, but I mean you can see the dilapidated houses. This is about the nicest thing in this neighborhood, Thelma Reese Parks Elementary, which I think has been here for about 20 years now. Uh, that's a Tasty. So if you ever been to Tasty's, you know we in the hood. There's been a lot of shit go down in this on these streets right here because these are the back streets. Like I said, you'll see sometimes in Oklahoma City. Man, it's easy to run into your damn uh run into your uh enemy. And here we go on Fine Shield. There's Northeast High School. Turn down Fine Shield. See, this is where it go down. And I ain't gonna go too slow in this motherfucker because it really goes down over here. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you gotta learn them back streets. I know back when I was a kid, we had a friend that used to stay on 27th Street right here. 
but we used to take the back way to get into a house which was a dead end way because shit you come down fine shield like you even if there's a park down there you come in through that park you know them, they be all up at the park and shit and they catch you slipping my homegirl used to stay right there so we used to have to come in back that way and that catch that catch you slipping that try to jump you or whatever what hood you from man that shit really be happening like that so what i'm saying is you know protect your neck then uh shit 25th here is a day another dangerous street but uh oh no nah. see yeah it's dang it's dead end you know what I'm saying? i ain't gonna turn down there it ain't dead end but shit you know that's where i got a family member that got uh shot over there on 25th street because i mean this place is just i mean the east side is just it is what it is man so but that's what i'll be saying i'll be telling people like man it ain't nothing like how you would think gang violence is you can you can get around you can be a gang member on any side of town in oklahoma but uh you know it's all about you know who you are because you it's gangs it's bloods and crips that are brothers you know what i'm saying so it's kind of weird in oklahoma but then again it's still a solid place you know what i'm saying it's a solid place to live you know what i mean east side is coming up you know and uh that's just is what it is i just wanted to show y'all that show y'all a little small little tour now i've got another surprise for y'all so check out my next video i'll holler at you peace what to do everyday people man we are back and we are back in our secret location it's not really a secret but if you know you know we are on chartel boulevard avenue chartel next to dean a mcgee if that don't ring a bell that means you're not from oklahoma but if you are from oklahoma then you must know at robert s kerr and chartel is the Oklahoma County Detention Center, okay? So, I'm gonna pull up in here and park in the Oklahoma County Detention Center for a second, okay? I'll just, just come here to show y'all what this place look like. If you ain't know where Timothy McVeigh been, where uh shit all type of stupid people been and is and will be it was up in there all right this is the oklahoma county jail it's probably one of the dangerous counties county jails in america you know right alongside cook county and uh it's a few other counties that are very dangerous um so and you know why it's dangerous is because people die frequently and it's not by the hands of other inmates. They randomly die. Sometimes, like I have a friend that was killed by some inmates, but you know what? And the police kind of let that happen. So, um, you know, this place is dangerous. And the reason why I'm bringing you to this place is because that boy, Justin Johnson and Cornelius Smith is in a county jail similar to what we have here in Oklahoma City, right? And they are probably on a floor maybe similar to Oklahoma City, the violent pods, which will be the eighth floor. So if you start two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight is a few ways up there. And then, then you have, you know what I'm saying? Nine, 10, 11, 12, yeah. It get pretty dangerous up there, you know what I'm saying? So, really, there's only like five floors, but there's two, no, six floors, but there's two floors for every uh, pod. So, you got fifth floor, sixth floor, whatever the fuck. I think, I don't know. Hell, maybe they don't, maybe I'm lying, maybe I don't know, maybe I don't go to jail enough. But anyway, so I wanted to, I wanted to bring y'all here because this place is gonna bring the snitch out of you. And the, if y'all could tell, look at this photo, look at this photo, okay? This photo says 
Justin John, I mean, not Justin Johnson, Cornelius Smith is going to snitch. I guarantee it. There's no way you're going to sit in a shitty ass place like this for four to five years fighting the case because you know that young Dolph case ain't going to be a simple. Uh, if they take it to trial, oh, they're going to get them. So I think if there's enough circumstantial evidence on these two, Cornelius Smith, who is facing the death penalty, this guy right here, um, he gonna snitch. He gonna snitch fast, and uh, he gonna snitch because he's nobody's gonna want to get the death penalty, right? And then for him to have the death penalty, that means he gonna live in here for years. He gonna live in the county jail for at least six, seven years fighting the death penalty. You understand what I'm saying? So, I don't think he's going to want to fight that death penalty. I think he's going to want to take a plea deal. And in that plea deal, he's going to have to snitch. That's just what it is. Now, I know I drove all the way down here to tell y'all that. But also, county for the homies. This is for y'all. Now I take y'all losers' asses back to sleep. Go back to prayer. Go back to child. Go back to your daily activities, playing dominoes, talking through the toilet. All that dumb shit. It's not cool, dog. What I'm saying is, Justin Johnson and them, they committed a heinous crime. Now they getting the ultimate punishment, which is gonna be, uh, to death of course and they not gonna take it like I, I i don't believe for one second that they are man enough to take the death penalty i i don't believe that i wouldn't do that i wouldn't take the death penalty myself personally i would never i'm telling i'm telling on anybody you know but that's now like i think it's there's some type of code in the streets where you did the crime you do the time but that death penalty Man, that changes the con the conversation, all right? So, everyday people, let me know if you think if you think Cornelius Smith is going to snitch or Justin Johnson is going to snitch, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. All right, everyday people, man, thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a wonderful Saturday. I holler at your peace.